canned tuna is not the prettiest girl at the ball. Everybody has it in the pantry. Everyone skips it when they go for dinner. Trust me when I say it is a mad genius recipe. It is not a recipe, it's an ingredient. Tuna is getting a glow up and we are making tuna escabeche tostadas. This recipe is one of the easiest recipes you'll ever make. It's really just three ingredients and then everything else you add to it is totally up to you. For this recipe, I prefer to use tuna in oil, but if all you have is tuna in water, by all means, use that because we're gonna add a little bit of oil anyways. So you wanna drain your tuna, squeeze out some of that oil. The reason we are draining our tuna first is because we wanna give it a few minutes for that excess oil or water to drain off before we make our tuna escabeche. Okay, so move this over to the side. So we're gonna need to fry up some corn tortillas and we're gonna need to make our crunchy topping. So these are pepitas. Pepitas are basically pumpkin seeds with the hole removed. We are gonna toast these and they are gonna be delicious. Get your skillet on medium heat. Add one tablespoon of canola oil. The reason I'm using canola oil is it has a really high smoking point, but also it doesn't have a lot of flavor. Okay, so a quarter cup of pepitas into the skillet. So I'm gonna toast these over medium heat, stirring occasionally. Let me tell you something, these pepitas, they're gonna let you know when they are ready. They puff up and they get lightly golden brown and they smell very toasty. Great, these are good to go, they're done. So go ahead and cut the heat and we're gonna hit them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And because the pepitas released a little bit more oil than I thought, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them to paper towel. And we're gonna grab some paper towels and we're gonna wipe out the skillet. Look at that, hot, shiny, clean skillet, ready to fry some tostadas. So let's get that back over about medium heat. We're gonna add some more canola oil. This time you need about a quarter inch. And I think this is pretty hot. One way to tell if it's ready is to grab a wooden spoon. And if it looks like the tip of your wooden spoon is starting to fry, you are good to go. One at a time, we're gonna fry some tortillas. These are white corn tortillas. You don't wanna use flour for this recipe. That said, you can buy already fried tortillas. Pick them up, you'll save yourself a step. Go ahead and fry these, turning them occasionally, and they're gonna take anywhere from three to four minutes per tortilla. Although this one's going pretty quick, I have to say. You can see it starts to brown on the edges here. This one is ready to go. You're gonna let some of that excess oil drip off and then go right to paper towels to drain. Let's do two more. Look at that. I mean, it looks so good. It's lightly browned around the edges. You get all these poofy little bubbles that are gonna add so much texture to our tostadas. Yummy, 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 yummy. We've got our tostadas, we've got our pepitas, and let's move on to our tuna escabeche. Pour off the liquid, quick little wipe of the bowl. So I would recommend trying to buy whole solid white tuna. Take your clean hands and break it up into medium chunks. You don't want to overwork the tuna so that it falls apart. I really do think that tuna sometimes gets a bad rap because most people think of chunk light tuna. It's that really finely ground tuna that's all mashed up in the can. To your tuna comes one of my favorite ingredients in the whole entire world. It's Mexican style pickled jalapenos with vegetables. This happens to be Goya. It is packed with not only jalapenos, but it has carrots in it and onion. You need about a quarter cup total of jalapenos and the vegetables. And just go ahead and remove the stems from the jalapenos and then you're gonna just mince it. That looks like a quarter cup to me. So that goes into the bowl of tuna. In addition to the chopped up vegetables, you're going to add some of the marinade from the jar. Um, and it's basically acting as a vinaigrette for this tuna. So I'm gonna add four tablespoons right in there. Then just go ahead and take a fork or a spoon or both. I'm gonna use both and give it a very light toss. And once you have that, look at that, I'm already breaking it up a little bit more than I want. You're gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper but not too much because that brine from the jalapenos has a lot of salt in it. And we're done. Let's build ourselves a little tostada. I'm gonna grab a nice crispy tostada round, scoop out some of your big chunky pieces of tuna. You wanna make sure you get some of that jalapeno and that carrot. I think that's it. I think that that's enough on there. You can really use any garnishes you have on hand. Obviously we have our crispy pepitas, but we need to give our tuna tostada, her tiara. So I'm going to thinly slice some radishes. 
and then we have some cilantro sprigs, which I don't even need to cut. I just can pick those. She's looking so good. Look at that. Pepitas, crispy pepitas, right on top. Look at that. She is beauty, she is grace, but all joking aside, canned tuna does not have to be your grandmother's tuna salad. It does not have to be a casserole. It can be interesting, it can be delicious, and it can be fun, like this tostada. Mm. Look at that, and you thought tostadas were hard to eat. <laughs>